The Chinese have upped the, the ante today in their, in their trade war with Donald Trump. What they've done is basically, the important part of what they've done is they've restricted or eliminated the export of processing equipment, anything to do with processing rare earths, fabricating end use forms, all of that is now stopped. And why is that important? Give you an example. The equipment that I saw in Estonia two two weeks ago at the new Neo Performance Magnet plant was Chinese, but they they made a uh, issue uh, w- when people said, "Well, it, it's Chinese. How did you do that?" Because they they no longer allow technology exports. The answer is the Chinese were allowing equipment to be exported but not tech, no manuals, no technicians, nothing like that. You, you want to buy something out of the catalog, they, they were still doing it, and, and that equipment was there. As of now, as of the last few days, China has stopped that entirely and basically restricted the export of any and all rare earths with any dual-use uh, possibility. Dual-use meaning it can be used for military as well as civilian uh, uh, products. And what's important here is that this really makes situations like, for example, when I visited Less Common Metals last December, I saw their, their of course, their, they, their equipment was operational. They were, they were showing me what they were doing. And the, the key piece of equipment was what's called a spin caster. Well, the interior of that machine was Chinese and the exterior Japanese. I asked why. They said, well, the Chinese make the best spin caster, but the furnace in which it's placed, the best one is Japanese. Well, that company has now changed hands and it's it's been bought by uh, the uh, company uh, USA Rare Earths. But in order to build a plant with that technology in Oklahoma or wherever they'd like to build it outside of the UK, they need equipment. Well, guess what? They cannot get any Chinese equipment. What does that mean? That means they'd have to design and build the equipment and test it and burn it in themselves. Well, I'm not saying that's not possible, but it could add years to the to the project. Why do I say that? Because Although that type of equipment is not unknown in the West, it's not common. And so uh, they're going to have to find a vendor, specify materials, specify operating temperatures, specify the length of time, maintenance schedules. That's going to take a long time. And they need specialists who are familiar with that type of equipment and manufacturing rare earth metals and alloys to be involved. I have no idea where they're going to find a... uh, uh, heard of these people because there's so few of them in, in the, today in the Western world. Th- this is a huge problem, in my opinion, is that China knows exactly what it's doing. And, and, and I, I think I've said this before. The Chinese are battling one to one with Donald Trump. Donald Trump and Xi Jinping are having a, a war here. And Xi Jinping is is raising the ante by he's holding all the cards. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what the United States plans to do, but I do know that the individual rare earth companies who are, are planning to expand into a total rare earth permanent magnet supply chain have a problem now. Where are they going to get the equipment? I've been talking uh, to people about this for the last few years. Because you, yes, it's it's simple in in theory to design all this equipment to process rare earths and manufacture rare earth enabled products, but the fact is you have to know operating temperatures, the materials of construction, because this type of processing uses very corrosive chemicals and corrosive situations. So you just can't use off the shelf equipment. Uh, for your information, in the last. Uh, decade, I've seen two 
uh, large-scale solvent extraction plants fail because of equipment failures. Basically, uh, piping that was perforated and collapsed because the designers of the equipment did not know how corrosive the rare earth chemicals were in, in those process steps. I, w- I won't name the companies, but they were very large ones. And so this cost years and hundreds of millions of dollars to correct. But of course, at that time, Chinese engineers were in both companies helping to, to solve the problem because they'd seen it before because they'd done it before. Okay, so now what's going to happen? Well, the 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 market seems to be paying, the only thing they're, they're doing in relation to this new Chinese move is raising the prices of the shares of all the rare earth companies. My God, the Chinese are going to cut us off, so these companies are going to be the solution. They are not the solution. They are the problem. What are they going to do without Chinese technology? I don't know, because I do know that almost universally, these companies use Chinese equipment, and that ain't coming anymore. So uh, Xi Jinping knows what he's doing. I hope Donald Trump knows what he's doing.